Hello everyone, welcome to the Fundamentals of Computer Network course. In this lesson, you will learn data communication networks, the internet, protocols and standards. Data communications and networking are changing the way we do business and the way we live. Business decisions have to be made ever more quickly and the decision makers require immediate access to accurate information. Through the use of computer network, it could appear almost instantaneously and very fast. Businesses today rely on computer networks and internetworks. Let us learn how networks operate, what types of technologies are available, and which design best fills which set of needs. What do you mean by data communication? Data communications are the exchange of data between two devices via some form of transmission medium such as a wire cable. The word data refers to information presented in different forms such as text, numbers, images, audios, and videos. Now, let us see what are the fundamental features of data communication. The effectiveness of a data communications system depends on the following. 1. Delivery. The system must deliver data to the correct destination. Data must be received by the intended device or user and only by that device or user. 2. Accuracy. The system must deliver the data accurately. Data that have been altered in transmission and left uncorrected are unusable. 3. Timeliness. The system must deliver data in a timely manner. Data delivered late are useless. In the case of video and audio, timely delivery means delivering data as they are produced, in the same order that they are produced and without significant delay. This kind of delivery is called real-time transmission. 4. Jitter. Jitter refers to the variation in the packet arrival time. It is the uneven delay in the delivery of audio or video packets. Now, let us see what are the five components that make up a data communications system are. 1. Message. The message is the information to be communicated. Popular forms of information include text, numbers, pictures, audio, and video. 2. Sender. The sender is the device that sends the data message. It can be a computer, workstation, telephone handset, video camera, and so on. 3. Receiver. The receiver is the device that receives the message. It can be a computer, workstation, telephone handset, television, and so on. 4. Transmission medium. The transmission medium is the physical path by which a message travels from sender to receiver. Some examples of transmission media include twisted pair wire, coaxial cable, fiber optic cable, and radio waves. 5. Protocol. A protocol is a set of rules that govern data communications. It represents an agreement between the communicating devices. Without a protocol, two devices may be connected but not communicating just as a person speaking French cannot be understood by a person who speaks only Japanese. To summarize, data communications are the transfer of data from one device to another via some form of transmission medium. The effectiveness of a data communications system depends on the delivery, accuracy, timeliness, jitter, and the five components that make up a data communications system are message, sender, receiver, medium, and protocol. 